Holy crap! We can all make a sigh of relief right now that Christmas is over! That, in fact, I actually have two things to be glad about. That Christmas is over and that 2011 is about to end. I'm sure I'm gonna get a bunch of comments about how my hair looks good. And what I can assure you is that my hair looking good is just about the only thing about me right now that's doing well. So thank you. Please troll about my hair. Go ahead. It's gone long. It's the only reason why I wake up in the morning. When I was thinking about how I wanted to do my makeup this year for New Year's Eve, I really wanted to capture the essence of the celebration. And since I don't have any reason to celebrate, I'm going to be using gray and black. When I was thinking about what color I wanted to put in my eyelid, I chose a color called mushroom. Because mushrooms are a fungus and a bacteria plant that grows on crap exactly how it express what 2011 has been like for me. Joking aside, because of some of the tough things that I've gone through this year, I've came up with some very important New Year's Eve resolutions. Next year, I resolve to well, expect less from people, to always be prepared for the worst, and to drink more. So now you got this almost black eye color on your eyelid, and now you want to put in the crease just straight up black. There we go. There's my mood. This color has an unpleasant name called perversion. It's perfect. Boy, I tell you, there's nothing like the holidays to remind you of how much everybody sucks. I saw this video on YouTube that somebody recorded themselves going to Walmart when it's 15 minutes before close on Christmas Eve and complaining that the doors were closed early and then that the manager wouldn't let them in. This video was three minutes long of him arguing with this manager. I tell you what, that person must have really just hopped off the ass had expressed. If you're looking for sympathy, go on Dr. Phil. And don't forget to blend out the edges. Trust me. If there's anything that you could help control, if there's anything that you could help make better in your life, make it your makeup because that might be the only thing. Next, put some of that gray underneath your eye. Make it look like you've been crying black tears. Don't have anyone to kiss at midnight this New Year's Eve? Join the club. I got this in my birch box. It's called Lash Lifting Mascara. Hey, maybe it'll help lift my mood too. Nah. Nah, it's not. Mood's still low. Wow, and actually, this mascara really sucks. I didn't think it was possible for your eyelashes to look worse after mascara, but this mascara really made that happen. Wow, that's that's impressive. Now, when I'm actually getting ready for New Year's Eve, I'll probably, well, I'll want to put false eyelashes on, but I'll probably either lose one of them or can't find the glue or something. I mean, I'm just being realistic here. Eh, I'm gonna let my New Year's Eve lips party for me because I've just been in no mood. At least if my lips are shimmering and glistening, maybe people will think that I am. They can they can go ahead and think that. It, it's just the lips. It's not really my mood. Now, don't worry. On top of everything else, I didn't just get slugged in the face, but... My blush sure makes me look like I was. Listen, I made a new channel and it's about how I have MS and how much it sucks. So if you feel like listening to that claptrap, I put a link to my new channel in the underbar for all those masochists out there that like to hear a sad story. Also, you should check out my newest podcast. I'll link to that in the underbar as well. It's free. Happy getting drunk and changing the year when you write the dates. Day, everyone. Bye.